One funny thing about Zone 1 and 2 is that it couldn't care less about you. It's like, hey, go kill that guy. Or, you know, don't. I don't care. Or infiltrate that building this way. Or you could go another way. I couldn't give less of a shit. It is completely indifferent about the way you want to play the game. So Dishonored 2 is a sequel to, you probably guessed it already, Dishonored 1, the critically acclaimed first person stealth game from Arcane Studios and Bethesda. Just to be clear, this is going to be a spoiler free review. There will be no spoiler elements discussed in this video, not even the opening cinematics. Because I didn't know about the opening of the game and I really liked it that way. So, I will only talk about if the level design holds up to the awesome level design of the first game and some gameplay aspects and all that good stuff. The level design is the best thing about Dishonored, in my opinion. It was near perfect. There were so many routes to take and to discover and you could find your own playstyle in these paths. Such as, you could take the sneaky path to make sure that no one saw you or you could go guns blazing and running gunning while killing every little organism inside. These options made Dishonored feel like such a big game even though it was quite small. This game still has the open level design but on a much 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 larger scale. The levels feel even bigger this time around. There are so many things to do in each area. And if you want to find all the hidden things in a level, you are going to be running around a lot. But I highly advise that you pick up all the items because it makes the experience complete in my opinion. And you can unlock more of your really cool powers with it. Powers are also back this time around. And they are even better than last time. This time there are way more upgrades for your powers and Emily has a different power set from Corfo. Which is awesome and all, but I do feel like the powers that Corfo has are a bit better to be honest. For instance, Emily's form of blink that she used to travel around has a lot more limitations than blink. And Corfo still has his bend time power, which in my opinion is the most overpowered power of them all. Overpowered power. Overpowered power. Overpowered power. That sounds really weird when you say it out loud. Overpowered power, overpowered power, over uh, The way you complete your missions and take out your targets is again completely up to you. If you want to save the target and not murder him, you can do that. Or you can quick save just before you kill him so that you can watch the fucker die 50 different ways before you end the level. Because his annoying as fuck minions were giving you a hard time. All in all, the Zone 2 is a really fun game with lots of replay value that in my opinion definitely is worth the price. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. The first is only going to 9 in my opinion, just because I like the level design just a tiny bit more. But that just comes down to personal preferences. If you played the first design and liked it, you will probably like this one too, because it is more design. And if you didn't like the first game, you will probably won't like this game either, for the same reason. The years are long, but it's always good to see a familiar face. All in all, Dishonored 2 is a really fun game with lots of replay value that in my opinion is worth the pie. Twice? Worth the pies. <laughs> or dreamy is worth the poise, man. <laughs>